we can't feed the soil Then let the soil feed us We can take some naughty problems And let diversity solve them With cover crops and mulch Hello and welcome to the third video in the Food Too Good to Waste project series. In our first video, Compost Mechanics, you learned how to build and manage a compost pile. The second video, Compost Ecosystem, featured the creatures in and around a compost pile and how they work within an ecosystem to transform waste into resources that improve our environment by completing the cycle of life. This video, Using Compost, shows how real farmers and home gardeners use compost and other forms of organic matter to kickstart several beneficial processes. These processes start with the addition of compost, mulches, and cover crops to increase the nutrient supply in the soil, bringing it to life. Farmers' crops respond to this kickstart with increased growth and leaf production. Plant leaves are where photosynthesis occurs, pulling carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, out of the atmosphere. A mature tree can pull up to 48 pounds of carbon out of the atmosphere in just one year. Conventional farming methods have changed the environment causing a reduction of some species of plants, insects, and animals in an ecosystem. By shifting to farming practices that restore soil to support these environments, we can reduce our human impact on the environment while still retaining productive farms. In the first two videos, you saw that placing organic matter in a landfill interrupts the decomposition part of the cycle of life by keeping nutrients from returning to the soil. This creates methane gas and prevents the fungi, bacteria, and worms from decomposing food waste. Composting reduces waste sent to the landfill while providing a perfect ecosystem for decomposers to do their job, which is to create nutrient-dense soil. One important aspect is that nutrient-dense soils retain more water. Using compost reduces or completely eliminates the need for irrigation because soils with more organic matter are able to retain more moisture. The root systems of vigorous plants are long and deep, holding these nutrient-rich soils in place. This reduces erosion and the need for irrigation. Compost-enriched soil retains a minimum of 20% more moisture than other soils. Mulching is a common practice to support vigorous plants. A thick mulch of ground-up aged leaves, while not composted fully, will rot quickly, feed the soil, and help stop weeds. Wheat straw is another commonly used mulch, but wheat mulch has wheat seeds, which sprout and are considered weeds as they compete with the farmer's crops. Straw takes a long time to break down and releases very few nutrients to the soil. For these reasons, some growers are switching to ground up leaves for their mulch. But compost is by far the best mulch to use on the surface of the ground. When it rains, the many nutrients in the compost soak into the soil, feeding the plants. The remaining composted material covers the soil retaining moisture for the plants to use later. Finally, well-made compost contains no seeds to compete with the farmer's crop. Farmers are learning new ways of using compost applied by their regular planters. Strip-till planters open a narrow strip in the soil for seeds and compost. Some of these planters even blow the seed and compost into position together. Other farmers spread compost all over their fields. This takes a special spreader and lots of compost, but it helps keep the life in the soil vibrant. Carbon emissions and pesticide use can be reduced by using compost. Pests can be controlled by planting a wide variety of plants which feed more diverse populations of insect species. 
These diverse insect populations serve to counteract any pest outbreaks. Healthy plants are naturally more resistant to pests. Beneficial nutrients such as compost can easily be produced either on the farm or nearby. This can eliminate the use of transporting truckloads of fertilizers or pesticides with vehicles that burn fossil fuels. Producing synthetic fertilizers also uses lots of energy. Use of fertilizers and pesticides cause species to die off or move away. Composting supports healthy soils, diverse plants, and ecosystems. Many farmers use compost as a starter to put in the ground as seeds are sown or plant starts are planted. This helps the plant all season to hold water and have the food it needs to grow. Tom Ruggieri of Fair Share Farm told us about increasing his farm's organic matter from 2% to 4%. This increase was accomplished over about 15 years of feeding the soil life by mulching, adding commercially made compost, and growing cover crops. Tom has also implemented a system of swales and berms that hold water and allow diverse plantings all across his farm. Brooke Salvaggio described a former baseball field that had zero topsoil and is now a vital plot growing healthy vegetables. She explained how the soil building practices at Herbivore Farm increased water holding capacity and eliminated irrigation even during a very dry summer. Her husband Dan told us that he now finds beneficial insects such as pollinators that have been attracted to the clean and diverse environment on their farm. Cover crops are grown specifically to protect and enrich soils. This cover crop on the herbivore farm is a diverse mix of different types of plants. What happens below the ground is that these plants leak some of the sugars they make into the soil. This feeds a robust web of life that lives, dies, and composts in place to produce rich dark soil. Herbivore also uses pigs to eat the plants, root up the earthworms, and churn the soil while fertilizing it with their wastes. The only real cost is the seed for the cover crop, which can be grown on the farm and harvested for this use. These two farmers and their long-term successful farming operations are proof that vigorous plant growth occurs when soils are enriched by compost and other methods. Their healthy soils support an ecosystem with a wide range of plant, insect, and animal life within the habitat they've created. The same effect happens when compost is spread on lawns or golf courses to improve the health of the grass and keep it vibrant throughout the year. Compost creates a diverse soil ecosystem that helps fight off problems with fungi and blight, making it a valuable way to improve turf grass. When nature is involved, 2 plus 2 equals 9. It's the only system we have that creates more life the more we encourage it. The more diverse life forms use carbon and then pass it on to continue in a virtuous cycle called a carbon cascade. Creating a carbon cascade returns carbon to the soil through composting, mulching, or growing cover crops, which puts more life in the soil, which increases the amount and diversity of life in the soil, which increases the health and growth of plants and retains more water and loosens the soil, allowing roots to grow and breathe, which all work to place and retain more carbon in the soil, which works to reverse climate change, which reduces stress on plants and animals, which creates healthier food with a lower carbon footprint, which grows healthier people who tend to appreciate the value of nature and work to preserve diversity and support systems 
that are more than just sustainable. They are vibrant, thriving systems in tune with the flow of life itself. Thanks for learning more about how we can use the idea of turning waste into resources through composting. With this knowledge, you are now ready to create a Food Too Good to Waste project that can teach these ideas to your school, your community, or even further, creating a knowledge cascade of your own. We can feed the soil, then let the soil feed us. We can take some naughty problems and let diversity solve them with cover crops and mulch.